Aqidat al-Sunnah. Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is talking, you know the problems nowadays. There's so many problems nowadays. So again, this is right on. They had a big meeting. Did you see there? A week ago, was it? Islam dunya, the dunya of Islam. That's how I was listening to Erdogan law, but I understand Turkish, so I was listening. Islam dunya, the dunya, the world of Islam. He was talking this and talking that. And I looked, subhanAllah, that's a huge hall. Did you see it? I don't know how they build it. But it took in maybe all the Muslim countries. All of them were here. They were there. Ah, MashaAllah. They are all sitting. To how many? 50? 100? 150? Allah knows. But many, many leaders, many rulers, many kings, many sultans, many, many prime ministers of these Muslim countries. Arab or non-Arab. Yeah, they are sitting there. Now what is Mawlana, what, what is Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying? Aqeedah sunnah our aqeedah, our belief of Ahl sunnah wal jama'ah, bidun khalifa la jihad, wala jum'ah. Without the permission of a sultan, of Muslims, without the permission of sultan of Muslims, there is no jihad, there is no war, there is no war against anyone. Without that imam, that sultan, to give permission for jihad, to give permission for war, there's, there's no, nobody has authorization to start a war. Even Jum'ah, the Sultan has to give permission to the one that has to give Jum'ah. If they don't also, according to what Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying, this is not accepted. But nowadays, they have come up with things that so they can do Jum'ah without the permission of the Sultan. But Jihad, you have to have the Imam give the permission without Sultan over, over the Muslims. What do they call them? Renegade groups, they call them? Renegade? Offshoot? They cannot start a war. They cannot start holy war. They cannot call the Ummah for a war. Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying, Biduni Khalifa al Ummah Without Sultan, the Ummah, because they were calling the Ummah, the Ummah has to participate. Without Sultan, the Ummah is, a sin, is sinning. They are coming from the from Sharia, from the angle of Sharia. You heard about this international, what was it? Beginning of November, a bunch of scholars came and said there's a fatwa that all the Muslim regimes and their armies have to intervene. Did you read it? I think it was some international society or organization of Muslim scholars. They come up with a fatwa that, mashallah, all the Arab regimes and their armies have to intervene. Eh, Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying, Sammu Imam. If you, if you are saying that Sharia, because they are coming from the angle of Sharia, if you are saying according to the Islamic religious obligations and Sharia, all the Muslims, uh, no, all the Muslims, the armies, the countries, Arab countries, Muslim countries, have to intervene. Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying, then call Sammu Imam. Name a sultan. Name a leader. Who is the one to authorize according to Sharia? MashaAllah, your big, big uh, group of scholars came up with that fatwa. Okay, who is the imam? Come up with that. From the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was the imam, he was the sultan of the ummah at that time. After him, he was the nabi of course, and the rasul. After him, Sayyidina Siddiq, after him Sayyidina Al-Farooq, after him Sayyidina Dhul-Nurayn, after him Sayyidina Dhul-Fiqar, Ali Al-Murtada, after them came Salatin, Sultans. So, call the, who is the Imam? Name him. Without an Imam, Mawlana Sheikh Nazim saying, Awwal wajib ala ahli al-Islam, the first must on the Muslim scholars and the Muslim people, the Ahlul Islam, the people of Islam, your first obligation is to find Sultan. To find a head for you. How many heads were there in that conference room? Conference hall? Who should be, who should sit down together, or 50 of you, 60 of you, say who will lead us? President Erdogan will lead you? Sultan, uh, King Abdullah will lead you? Sisi will lead you? Who will lead you? Who is your Imam? You're sitting all together. 
You're sitting all together, not following what Islam is telling you. Islam is telling you, you have to be under one. وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا All of you. Come together, وَلَا تَتَفَرَّقُوا Don't separate. You have to come together after one sultan. Who's your head? Who's the, who's the head of the Muslims? Who is that? They brought the, the president of the Indonesia all the way to the king of Morocco and down to whatever, Senegal and the other countries. Who was your head in that meeting? That's why nothing came out of that meeting. Nothing came because there's no power. Because you are not following Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's way. You are following somebody else. Man yu'allimuhum. Who is teaching them? Mawlana Sheikh Nazim saying, as shaitan yu'allimuhum. Shaitan is teaching you, separate. Be, be not under one head, because everybody of them wants to be that head. The, the Egyptian will say, I want to be the head of all the Muslims. The Turkish, I want to be the head of all the Muslims. The Lebanese, I don't know if the Lebanese went there, but you also want to be the head of all the Muslims. The Saudi, the Emirati, the Algerian, the Syrian, the Iraqi, they all want to be the head of all the Muslims because each one of you want to be the head. That is Hubbul Riyasa. That is the love of being the leader, the president. That is Haram in Tariqa, it is not allowed. Hubbul Riyasa, it is said the love of being the leader or being number one is the last thing to come out of the heart of Siddiqeen. Because Riyasa, presidency or leadership does not go along with Ubudiyya. You either a abd, a servant, or you are a high one. You cannot be a abd and a headmaster or the head one. Ubudiyya you have to understand. Haqiqatul Ubudiyya. You have to understand the reality of servanthood. They don't go along. So who's your Imam? Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying, Sammu Imam. Instead of calling all the Ummah for some kind of jihad by a renegade group, who's your Imam? Come together, all presidents, all kings, sultans of Arab countries, India, Pakistan, Indonesia, the Muslims. Pick, a, pick one. Do you have one? No, they don't have one. So what happens when they don't have one? They are not following what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. They are not from awliyaullah. Awliyaullah, the friends of Allah, they, they do. Alladina amanu, they believe in what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent to them. وَكَانُوا يتقون, And they were, they were uh, very much trying to do everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. So what did Allah subhanahu how did he describe you? وَمَثَلُ الَّذِينَ اتَّخَذُوا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ أَوْلِيَاءِ كَمَثَلِ الْعَنْكَبُوتِ اتَّخَذَتْ بَيْتًا The example, your example that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving in the Holy Quran. In Surah Al-Ankabut. مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ اتَّخَذُوا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ أَوْلِيَاءِ The ones that have taken shelter in other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The ones that have taken support from other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The ones that are taking, uh, that are following the orders of other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Shaitan. You have left the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you have followed the way of shaitan. أَفَتَتَّخِذُونَهُ وَذُرِّيَتَهُ MashaAllah, you read it, Shaykh every day. أَفَتَتَّخِذُونَهُ وَذُرِّيَتَهُ أَوْلِيَاءَ مِن دُونِي Do you take him and his generation, do you take shaitan and his uh, generations of shayateen as awliya, as friends, with a, uh, and not me? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Kahf is saying, how can you take shaitan and his children, also shayateen? Shaitans, shaitans have children. They reproduce until Yawm Al-Qiyamah, they are alive. And then Yawm Al-Qiyamah, everybody will die. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised every soul will taste death. Even angels will die. The last one to die is Azrael alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell him, take your own soul. He will take his own soul. Angel of death will also die. Don't think angel of death is immortal, no. Nobody is immortal because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, Liman al mulk al to whom belongs everything today. He will answer himself to me. One. Only me. Everybody is dead. Jibra'il, Israfil, Azra'il, everybody. And the first one to be brought back to life is Israfil alayhi salam. He's the one to blow in the trumpet. He's the first one to come back to life, to blow that trumpet for all the souls to come back to their bodies so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying the ones that don't obey why do you take shaitan and his generations as your friends and not me so when you take shaitan as your friend what happens 
the, the, your example, the examples of the ones that have followed the orders of shaitan, that have followed the teachings of shaitan, are like the spider. Like the spider has taken a home of itself, a spider web. Man, they took so their home, their shelter, their support is what? A web, a spider home. Has no foundation, has no walls, has no roof. Does not protect you from fire, does not protect you from snow, does not protect you from anything. And what happens? <sighs> one wind, it will blow. One wind, one blow was blown onto the Muslim countries. What happened to them? They all crumbled. Isn't that true? One wind came through. A powerful wind. All of you, one or two billion Muslim and their countries and their armies and their leaders and their presidents, what happened? You crumbled, fell apart. Because you have taken Baytul Ankabut, you have taken the home of the spider, you have taken the spider web as your shelter because you have left what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered. He ordered you to have an imam. Where's your imam? If you were one sultan, one sultan over all, this, all these countries, you would have had power. No sultan, no power. You, one blow, and all of you crumbled, fell apart. Mawlana Sheikh Nazim teaches. Our master teaches. It's not my words. I'm, I'm, I'm reading what he's saying. When he, he said, فَلْيُرَشِّحُ لَنَا أَلَّذِي يَكُونُ خَلِيفًا Let them, uh, يُرَشِّحْ, candidacy. Let them, when, when somebody is running for president, they say he's a candidate. Let them give to us who will be Khalifa, who will be the Sultan of Muslims. When they are sitting together arguing and debating what to do, why don't you debate who will be the head of us? Why don't you debate that? Because each one of you want to be the head. That is the way of shaitan, separation. Tafarraqu, separate. Each one take his own land, make his own army, make his own stuff. And that's why. Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is, is giving you why you are at this very lowly state. state. Oh Muslims, why are you the leel? Why are you so humbled down and humiliated in the world because of that? You have not taken ahead. You have not followed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's orders. Yeah, you have. The last sultan was 1923, 24. The, the Ottoman sultan. What happened? Somebody came and he said, no more sultan. Oh, no more sultan. You revolted against the sultan. My people, the, Arab, the Arabs revol revolted against the sultan. Eh, you revolted. Everything crumbled. No sultan. Since that time, 100 years, no sultan of Muslims. That's why you are in this state. So instead of coming around, coming together and, and warning and threatening and make a leader of yourself. Get one. One on top. Follow the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then let that sultan determine what to do. Not a renegade group calling the ummah for jihad. This is not what our deen, our way, our religion says. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. I'm not uh, uh, criticizing anybody. I'm just letting you know what I, I have read from my teacher and what the situation of this world is. That is the situation. The situation, Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying, Awal wajib, the first must, ala ahli al-Islam, al-Khilafah, the first must for the Muslims is to have a Sultan. That's what you need to do. Then everybody will be afraid of you. Nobody will touch you. Nobody will touch any part of your land because they know you have one Sultan that can command billion Muslim, two billion Muslims. Like the Chinese. Why are they afraid of the Chinese? Because one, one party, they have one party, one head, is commanding all the billion or billion and a half. They have power. But Muslims don't have power. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to go back to the deen, to go back to the way. The way is to find an imam. That's why we are, we are waiting for that one sultan that inshallah will come, come through. And that sultan will unite the Muslims all together. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Ya Rabbi, bi hurmat al-Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa bi hurmat al-Fatiha. Allah, Allah, ya Allah.